We'll move on uh, to Magical Lagoon, number 16, 51 kilos. Uh, Chris Waller trains. Mark Duplessis, as uh, Shane said earlier, is going to ride. What do you think, Shane? <sighs> no. Was, uh, <laughs> was my comment here. Um, yeah, no, not one that I've sort of entertained for a top 10 spot. So it Has had three wins at Group 1 level, Group 2 level, and Group 3 level, all on good tracks, uh, Hawk. Uh, Probably uh, Group One Irish Oaks winner, starting price at two twenty five. What do you think about that? Yeah, she was she was two twenty five because she'd won the Ribblesdale before that at Royal Ascot, which is a, a good fillies race. Um, the favourite in that Irish Oaks was meant to be Emily Upjohn, who's a, a very well performed filly, um, but she was scratched, which left a really weak field. Uh, look, Emily Dickinson's come out of it and performed okay this year, but. No, it's, look, the, the, that form, that three-year-old filly form from last year is terrible, and she's done nothing um, apart, apart from that Geelong Cup run, which was, which was okay, mm. um, but no, not for me. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.